Hey folks, do you think secondary fermentation is necessary? If you do, keep watching. I got some news for you. Hi hey everyone, welcome back. So I get this question a lot um, on my YouTube channel. When I make home brewing recipe videos, people ask me questions like, uh, well, how long was it in the primary? How long was it in the secondary? And if you didn't get it yet from watching my videos for the past several years, I don't do secondary fermentation. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons for it. For one, it's not necessary. Uh, home brewing beer, uh, for us home brewers, the types of beers we make most often, uh, now, let me qualify. I have to say, it doesn't, it's not required for most beer styles. There are some like lagers out there where you want to lager in a secondary. I, I get all this, but what my main thrust is, I don't normally do lagers, so the questions are usually revolving around my ale recipes. And with most ale recipes, you do not need to do secondary fermentation. And I'll tell you, um, try it yourself. I spent my first several years when I first started getting into home brewing with my nose buried in the books, and this was probably before the days or the early days of the internet, so there wasn't a whole lot of information out there on home brewing, but even, even as the online stuff came on, uh, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, contrarian opinions. Like Everyone had to use for secondary fermenters. You have to spend your four or five days in the primary and spend two weeks in the secondary, all this, all, and all this kind of common sense wisdom, right? Well, I started seeing more and more information out there about uh, people who says, well, why bother with primary, for, I mean, uh, secondary fermentation. Just stick it in one fermenter for two weeks and you're done. Well, I tried that and guess what? It was fine. My beard wasn't any dirtier or off tasting or, or tainted or problematic as, as uh, all the home brewing books and articles I've read have told me it would be. And it was kind of an eye opener and, uh, and it was actually enlightening too because I realized, wow, it's less work. I just put the beer in the primary or let me just call it the fermenter because there is no more primary and secondary. It's just you throw it in the fermenter, you let it ferment until it's done, and you bottle or keg it. That is all you got to do. And it saves you a fortune in terms of time spent um, and, risk, uh, and, and risking your beer being tainted by having to clean another vessel and equipment and rack and siphon it over to the new equipment and risk getting oxygen and bacteria and, and wild germs and wild yeasts in there and tainting your, possibly tainting your beer, um, all for a myth. You know, the beer can sit on that tube for, for two, three weeks, a month, not a problem. And I can actually further back that information up with the fact that I got into home wine making several years ago. And even with my home wine, uh, with much higher alcohol content than, uh, than beer, it can sit on the tube itself, its own lees, they call it, for months between rackings. And, uh, and so that further validated my, my approach to this. And because of all this uh, experience and wisdom I had once read from someone, I can't remember who even it was anymore online, I went ahead and have been doing this for probably a decade or more now, and I have had no tainted batches, no stale beer from oxidation, no problems, and I save a hassle of having to rack, clean, and wash uh, more vessels than I need to, which then makes me more likely to want to brew more often. And that's really ultimately what this is all about, simplicity. The ability to brew more often by getting rid of the hassles and roadblocks in your way for wanting to do it. And having to use a secondary fermenter is one of those hassles that I no longer have to worry about and I'm a much happier person as a result. But if you have a different opinion, please comment below. Tell me what you think. If you like what I said, like my video. Uh, if you didn't like what I said, thumb it down, I guess. But please leave a comment. Just don't thumb it down, please. I want to know why you think I'm wrong. And uh, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, uh, comment on my Facebook page and Twitter feeds. And uh, if you're interested in some beer and barbecue shirts, I got them available. There's a link down in the video description down below. It's not just a shirt for myself. You're, you're welcome as a fan and subscriber to go ahead and get one too. So. Uh, so there you go, folks, uh, and I hope you like this video, and I will talk to you all next time.